What's up with y'all, Cowboy Faithful? It's your boy DMV back with another one. I'm actually out in Vegas. Uh, I'm here for the fight, for the Tank Davis fight, going to the weigh-in and all of that stuff today. So if you guys want to see that footage, I'm going to be posting that stuff, the boxing stuff, over on DMV Fanatic 2.0. For the people that don't know, you know, channel kind of got demonetized for three months. But we're gonna we're gonna keep things rolling, right? We are going back like I never left, like my boy Rome said. So we're here to talk about Dak Prescott and what this Trevor Lawrence deal means. So five years, two hundred seventy-five million dollars. I think two hundred of it was is guaranteed. One hundred and and forty-two million dollars at signature or something like that. Big deal. Shout out to the young fella for getting his money. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars know that they have a franchise quarterback. They, they signed them, so that sets the market. You know what I'm saying? The market is set. And so that really says to the Cowboys, all right, what are y'all going to do? Y'all going to, are y'all going to shit or get off the pot? That's what that means. And quite frankly, guys, I don't think this moves the Cowboys. I don't think it moves them one bit at all. I think they're going to stick to their guns with this one. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, we know yesterday's price isn't today's price. I think they're willing to let this thing play out. They have set themselves up to be right dead in the middle of, hey, we can either, we can either start this young movement over here or we can run this thing back. And I think that the real telltale sign is Mike Tomlin signs a deal for three-year extension. You know what I'm saying? His four years up to Mike McCarthy's four years is not even close. It's not even close who, to, who had been the better coach. But the Steelers and these other organizations know exactly what it is that they want. The Dallas Cowboys, on the other hand, sorry about that, the sun glare and everything, trying to get y'all a better view. The Dallas Cowboys, on the other hand, they're playing to where the trend is going with them. So that means they're okay with guys playing out their deals. They're okay with the market being set wherever it is. They want their guys to earn it. Do I agree with it? No. Do I agree with letting chips fall and, and all of that type of stuff and letting other people set markets? No. You guys know that I don't agree with that. I think that when you if you feel like you got your guys, you sign them. But that might just be it, guys. Maybe they feel like these aren't their guys or they're not, they don't know, or they have some doubts. That that's the only thing that I can really think of. Because when you got your guy, you got your guy. When you got your guy, you're not thinking about setting no market. You're thinking about, hey, I need this person to be here for a long time. And if you do set the market, uh, Eventually, at the long, at the in, in the long term, you get them for cheaper than what the market is. And the example that I can give you is, for example, my position. I just changed positions not too long ago, right? For another company. Obviously, I got paid way more than what I was in my old position, doing the same thing, right? But yesterday's market is not today's market. So obviously that position is worth more now. You know what I'm saying? So I say all that to say when the market is the market, it's only going to continue to go up. It's not going to go down. The reason that we know this is there's a CBA in place. There's an NFL PA. They do not want their top players to take pay cuts. They don't want them to go downwards. The league doesn't want that. Like, you don't believe it. It's not just that, though. Like, it's with everything else. Like, if you sell a house in a neighborhood, your neighbors aren't going to want. They're not going to want you to sell the house for cheap because that messes with their property value. And everybody goes off of comps. That's just how negotiations work. You know, some people don't understand it, but that's just that. That's just how it works. So. Dak is not going to get anything less than what Trevor Lawrence got. He's going to get more because if we look at the time period, Dak Prescott has accomplished more. He's accomplished more in the league. Yeah, I know Trevor Lawrence is a young guy and this is his first contract, but hey, 
what have you done for me lately and what is the market and what does the market say Dak Prescott was what second in MVP voting last year or, or, or third or whatever it is like I'm, I'm just saying that off the top of my head he was second team all pro there's no way in hell he's getting less than what Trevor Lawrence just got so I think that what this deal says though this really says more about the Joneses and what their position is because you already let the Minnesota Vikings set the market for Justin Jefferson, which we kind of knew was going to happen. We also knew that he was going to get top receiver money as he deserves. Same thing's happening with the Cowboys. <clears throat> oh, my God. Sorry, I didn't mean to sneeze, but it is what it is. Look, we real over here. So we ain't hiding no sneezes. We ain't editing it out or no nothing. But you got two guys where you let the chips fall and it's not going to be cheaper for you as it goes forward. Somebody else might sign another quarterback. So, yeah, that's where I'm at now. Uh, Dallas, either you got some, some numbers crunching to do or you can kind of sit on your hands and allow these guys to play out their deals. What do you guys think, though? I'm curious to think. I'm curious about what you guys in the comment section think, what the fans think. Like, do you guys think that the Cowboys should just go ahead and pay Dak? Do you think they should let him play out his deal or what? Um, obviously, CD's up first. But they got some things to do rather quickly because if Dak starts this season and goes through this season without a deal, um, I, I think that you're looking for Dak to move on because the market's set. And somebody's going to pay that money. Somebody's going to pay the money for him that Trevor Lawrence just got. But, hey, appreciate y'all as always. Also, don't forget to go subscribe to DMV 2.0. I'm going to be covering the fight out here. Also going to be doing some, some, some sports talk, other sports talk, and all of that type of stuff. We're going to try and build that channel up for monetization while we're, we're in this 90-day period. Oh, my God. Now I know how to focus the damn camera. But look, I'm in beautiful Vegas. I'm going to be posting some shorts and all of that type of stuff. So on 2.0, y'all go over there because that thing going to be lit. It's going to be lit today, especially if you love boxing. Make sure you go over there, all right? But appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all as always. And we out. Peace.